Horus obviously has a learning curve to it, and I hope to break that down with a series of videos where I focus from the point of view of a 40k player trying to play 30k. I've already done a video about list building and how to extend your army, so check that out later. And in this video I'm going to focus on movement, shooting and melee, which all have some differences. We're all familiar with day sheets and there's a lot in here that's the same, so I'll cover what is different. Movement first, things move up to the value on their day sheet, and they can advance or run as it's named. When moving, your shooting ability gets worse, say with heavy weapons, which feels familiar. When you run, you can't shoot. Vehicles are also affected by movement. At up to half speed, they shoot normally. They can also embark and disembark their transport load. At full speed, they only hit at sixes, which is called firing a snapshot, and can't disembark the troops. You can pivot a vehicle without it counting as moving, and it's important as weapons can only fire in certain directions, and most vehicles are vulnerable on the sides and rear. To shoot, you follow the usual steps of hitting, wounding and saving, but the details are different to 40k, so worth going over this in practice. Unlike on a 40k data sheet where the ballistic skill shows the number to roll, on a 30k data sheet your dice roll is 7 minus the ballistic skill. Having a ballistic skill of 4 means rolling a 3 to hit. The higher the ballistic skill, the better the shooting. The best you can hit on is 2s and the worst is 6, so a very high ballistic skill can mean re-rolls, but this is unusual. To wound is basically the same as 40k for everything other than against vehicles. Comparing your weapon strength to the target toughness gives you what you need to roll, so if they match it's 4s. If you are 1 different, higher or lower, it's 3s or 5s. If you are two different higher or lower, then it's twos and sixes. The best you can roll is two, and the worst is six. Pretty familiar, just not the double rule as in 40k. Against vehicles though, it's very different. A vehicle will often have toughness values for different sides. The rear and the sides often being weaker, so targeting a vehicle there is the way for a better time. To wound, you roll a d6 and add the weapon's strength, then compare to the toughness of the side you are targeting. If you match the value, it's a glance. If you exceed the value, it's a penetrating hit. Some weapons can't damage vehicles, say a strength 4 gun against a toughness 12 vehicle, nothing will happen. The vehicle may get a save and I'll talk about saving shortly, but otherwise a glance removes one wound, or hull point as it's called for vehicles. A penetrating shot needs to roll another d6 to see what the impact is to the vehicle. There's a table for this and you can blow off a gun or explode the vehicle altogether. If a vehicle explodes and is carrying models, then each of those take a strength 8 attack with no AP, and that must be resolved in the same way as any normal shooting attack. Saving. Everything can have an armour save, and some units have an invulnerable save, which is very familiar. Also attacks can have armour piercing or AP, and we know about that, but it works differently. If the AP value is the same or lower than the model's save value, then the save can't be used. The best saves are 2+, plus, so an AP of 2 means the weapon always ignores saves. An invulnerable save can still be taken regardless of the AP of a weapon. And if you're in cover, which is a model that's at least 25% obscured, you can get a 6 plus cover save regardless of the weapon's AP. Some models have damage mitigation rolls, like feel no pain or shrouded. These can be taken after failing saves normally. For damage, generally weapons inflict one wound. Some have stats that can do more. For each unsaved attack, you lose a wound in the standard 40k way. Some weapons have instant death or a strength double the toughness of the target, and they gain instant death. This kills the model regardless of the number of wounds. There's loads more to cover with shooting, but I think this is a good start. Now let's look at melee. And resolving melee is very different than in 40k. We'll get into all the intricacies of assault phase in a future video, but to start with, there are the familiar steps of charging, pile in, fighting, and consolidation. Charging is measured as the full distance base to base. You can't charge from over 12 inches away. An opponent can overwatch you, and if you fail, you can still move forward half the distance you rolled. Assuming you have models base to base, engaged and ready to fight, the first step to resolve the melee is to check the initiative values. This is on each unit's data sheet, and regardless of who charged, the unit with the highest initiative fights first. It's possible to charge someone and be hit and killed before you can even fight. Units with equal initiative take turns to fight, but these attacks are considered to be happening at the same time. Both full squads fight, so it's possible to wipe each other out. The number of melee attacks is on the data sheet as standard, and you can get additional bonuses like plus one to attack for charging, plus one to attack for using a two-handed melee weapon. There are more rules around this though, and I'll cover them in the future videos. This is where things get quite different, but quite cool in my opinion. To hit in melee, you compare your weapon skill and your data sheet to your opponents. If you have the same weapon skill, you hit on fours. If you are one higher or lower, then it's threes or fives. If the comparison is double or half, then it's twos or sixes. To wound in melee is not always possible, depending on the weapon's strength compared to the target's toughness. If you match values, then you can wound on a four. If you are higher or lower by one point, then you wound on a three or a five. And if you are two different, then it's twos and sixes. Two is the best you can wound on, but if the toughness is more than three higher than your weapon strength, you can't wound. Saves in melee are made in the same way as in shooting. You can attack a vehicle by charging, and when you do, the vehicle is assumed to have a weapon skill of one, so you'll be hitting on twos, and you resolve the wounding stage like you do in shooting. You roll a d6, add your weapon strength, and for melee, always compare to the vehicle's rear toughness. 
Once you're in melee, you can't leave by choice, so you may end up being stuck there for many turns if the fight is even. Melee against the vehicle is not the same, and you both can break away. That is the basis of moving, shooting, and melee, and it should be enough to get you in and playing. If you want to know more about list building and extending your army, then don't forget this video. And join me again for more 30k from 40k perspective. See you soon. Bye.